Scientists, you know, those guys that define our society from the shadows, have recently performed a study that's come to the conclusion that the human brain judges the trustworthiness of a person based on their facial features. Dope. Hey guys, I'm William Haynes from SourceFed, guest hosting here for D News. Researchers here in the US, the place that loves faces more than anywhere else, we invented Instagram, have found that the brain activity changes in response to how trustworthy a person looks based on just a fleeting look at their face. Coincidentally, they found out more information leading to why humans make certain preconceived judgments. The research found that portions of our brain are doing more subconscious work than previously thought. I just thought hot girls were hot. It turns out that my brain is smarter than me. Jonathan Freeman from New York University resident Smartman stated, we form spontaneous judgments of other people that can be largely outside awareness, which is how smart people say, sometimes our brains are mean and sometimes not. The study published in the journal Neuroscience focused largely on the actions of the amygdala, the small almond-shaped part deep inside your brain. I Google imaged it and it's kind of gross as is everything inside of your body, but fun to learn about. The amygdala plays a role in processing strong emotions. So every time that Starbucks barista gave you a chai tea latte with soy instead of skim milk, that's what's been making you feel that way. The amygdala, your good friend. Before the study, Freeman asked a group of individuals to rate whether they trusted certain people based on their faces, which I like to call high school orientation. People surprisingly tended to agree on which faces were trustworthy or not. Apparently faces with several key features like furrowed eyebrows and shallower cheekbones are consistently rated as less trustworthy. So apparently nobody trusts Benedict Cumberbatch. Another group was instructed to lay in an MRI scanner while they saw faces flash on a screen. Each face only lasted for milliseconds, which is more than enough time for me to personally judge someone. Just tell me a dude's name and I'm already mad. But even though their eyes had small glimpses of the images, they were still unaware that they'd even seen faces at all. Even because of this, the amygdala still responded differently to trustworthy and untrustworthy faces. That means our brains are quicker at judging than our eyes are. Freeman also proposed that the biggest question of the study is whether or not the brain actively somehow altered how people behave. He stated, even though people might not have conscious awareness, they might move back very subtly when perceiving an untrustworthy face, but that is still unknown. Apparently, Freeman was never a freshman in high school. What do you guys think? Have you ever looked at someone and loved them just because? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you trust my face, which you probably shouldn't because I've murdered, come see more of it over at SourceFed, and thanks for watching.